When the oncologist gave my mother her uh, diagnosis and that she was, uh, the oncologist would put mom on hospice, my mom was 86 and she understood it right away. Mom didn't want to go through a long, lengthy chemo and all that stuff at that age, so we welcomed it. Mom welcomed it. But I can't speak for someone who's in a different situation. Hospice, sometimes, though just saying it, people don't want to deal with the fact that that is a last chapter, definitely. So I think I, what I got from the oncologist was that, that that feeling exists. So if you have that feeling, that's the feeling you have. However, my sister and myself and my mother were with my father. Now my mother uh, had hospice. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't have wanted to, to do the end of life with my parents without those folks helping, being there, that service being there. I mean, literally, without hospice, the nursing home with my dad, I would have been off the tra my track of life total. Certain situations that you may have with your parents, so that when it happens, you can you know what to do. You call up, and then they're just, oh, this is what happens. But there's a whole track that you have to take to making that first phone call, and that's an, there's emotion involved, and you want to get you want to realize what's going to happen with yourself. So yeah, I mean, my experience with Lamoille Home Health and Hospice was. Uh, just perfect they do it they follow it and also above and beyond that schedule if you freak out and you need something then you just call them and if they have the emergency people that can just go come down and help you they also have people that will help you with your mental stuff that you're going through and all that stuff so it's a complete it's a complete service as far as I'm concerned couldn't even imagine end of life end of life stuff without those hospice professionals.